How the Space Rangers Captain Phoenix here. Today we're doing a different video or a familiar one if you're a long time fan. Now if you look at the date you will find out that my channel just turned five years old. That's five years of this world being graced by Captain Phoenix. Now this video isn't about that. I'm not gonna sit here and reflect on what five years means for this channel. Instead I pushed this video here to bring us full circle. I want to talk about why I made this channel, what it's for, why its future is not bright, and why I'm okay with that. I originally made Captain Phoenix as a challenge. I created the challenge as I began high school and it was meant to run until I graduated. Basically, I hated school, still do, and this channel was a coping mechanism. I wanted to prove to myself that I would improve as a person in terms of skill and personality by the end. The four years came and went, and while I am currently in the middle of college, doing what I like, completing the first part of my challenge, I'm still not as popular as I wanted to be with it. And that's when I noticed something. When I first started YouTube, I did not know how to make videos. Powerful people together faster than the dinosaur auction in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This movie, that movie. I mean, I was literally recording everything on a laptop when I first started. I didn't even know what the heck that was. I mean, I thought this was top tier editing. However, with each year that passed, I got better at my craft, making better and better videos. While I was proud of myself for achieving that though, YouTube didn't like it. Aside from 2019, this last year was the lowest performing year on my channel, and so I decided to find out why. First, in 2021, I decided to create a second channel to separate my content and to appease the algorithm. This partially worked, my second channel was gaining a lot of traction while my main one was still stagnant, so I put an end to it. In 2022, I decided to carry out an experiment. On my second channel, I uploaded a new video every two days while taking a break on Captain Phoenix. And on Captain Phoenix, after my break, I tried my hand at making higher quality videos or a bit more experimental videos to see if there would be a change in results. And well, here are the results. Not much change. So, what did I learn? Well, I understood why my channel was failing. First, YouTube no longer has respect for longer videos. They're so busy trying to be TikTok that they fail to realize that they're currently the only platform in which long-form videos can be made and held. I mean, that's what made them so popular. It's what put YouTube on the map. This was the first blow for me. My channel was already used to long-form content and it would prove very difficult for me to try and shorten it. Sadly, however, it proved that both people and the algorithm didn't care for long discussions. It also explains why my videos on Pingo Ninja work so well. YouTube is rewarding and giving its attention to short form content and people clearly don't have time for long video essays. Now, I'm not hating on shorts watchers or people who specialize in short form content. I'm just stating my observations. It would be hypocritical for me if I did anyway as I both enjoy and make shorts. By the way, I don't know analytics. I don't know how to study YouTube on a dif deeper level. All of this research was done by me. I found it on my own and I use my own methods to conduct this. So again, maybe the end result isn't as accurate as I thought it would be. The second thing I found out is that YouTube hates old channels. When conducting my research, I took note of how Captain Phoenix was almost five years old while Penguin Ninja was barely a year old. As you've seen, Penguin Ninja is gaining more traction than Captain Phoenix, both in shorts and videos. This goes to show that YouTube does not prioritize its older channels, no matter what quality they put out. Cause I spent a lot of time and effort making videos like the Pinocchio reviews, my Pixar ranking video, my Attack on Titan video essay, and even my Spectacular Spider-Man video essay. All of those scored low results on my channel, save for the Pixar video maybe, cause that one actually got a couple of years. And it's not just me. Other channels that were popular once upon a time are now ghost towns. People like Captain Sparkles, who yes, does have 11 million subscribers, but he hit that way back in 2018 and could only rise with the help from other YouTubers. And of course, let's not forget Captain uh, wait. And of course, let's not forget about Captain Sparkles 2, which can't even hit a million despite running for 8 years. There's also Channel Awesome, who just seems to be stuck at a million even though they've been doing YouTube for about 16 years. Then there's Adam Olinga who has 68.5 thousand subscribers yet struggles to bring in more than 2,000 views a video. And then there's Net Alliance who had 64.1 thousand subscribers to... Yeah, well, I mean, he did try his best. There's a clear trend going on of YouTube discarding old channels that don't bow to the algorithm 
in exchange of news such younger ones that do, and sadly, my channel has been affected too. This falls under a theory I have. Mind you, it's not confirmed, nor have I done research on it, so take it with a grain of salt. But, my theory is that when you make a channel, YouTube will give you about 2-3 to three years to set it right and give it an identity. If your content doesn't match the style or substance YouTube wants, then they won't push your channel anymore. Again, while not confirmed, I would advise long-running YouTubers like Dream and Mr. Beast to shake things up if they want to remain relevant. So that's where my channel is at right now. High quality videos with no views and endless barrages of copyright strikes. It doesn't look things will get better for it, but you know what? I'm done stressing about things like that. Yes, I will slightly be irritated if, no, when Penguin Ninja beats Captain Phoenix, but at the very least, I've accepted it. I don't care about what YouTube cares or doesn't care for or what state it's in. I care about my channel and that should be enough. I made this channel to document my life and to have my voice heard by someone, anyone who would listen. To have discussions with potential limit with a potentially limitless uh, audience out there. I'm not going to change myself or quit simply because no one's watching or YouTube doesn't like me. I love talking about movies. I love sharing my thoughts and basically documenting my life. I love looking back at what I used to say and make and how I've grown from that. And I'm going to continue growing because I'm not going to stop. Ghost Town or not, Captain Phoenix is here till the end of the line, baby. So even though nobody will ever watch this, hi, my name is Captain Phoenix, the Penguin Ninja. I'll be the captain of this ship and you'll be my space rangers. Buckle your seatbelt and get comfortable as we explore the different universes of movies and TV. Because it's going to be a long one, a very long ride. Here's to another strong five years. My channel is dead, but that's okay. Thank you for watching, and with that, we'll hop off to another universe. This is Captain Phoenix, signing off. Goodbye, my racists.